what we have is we have one of our uh, 12 inch auger, augers that we brought in and out of the field. As you can see, it's pretty beat up. So we're gonna talk about replacing the outer teeth, replacing the inner teeth. Our fish tail or our pilot bit is good, but we do have two that we can show you as far as what we can put in there. Let's replace an outer tooth. This is a brand new tooth. This tooth used to look just like this. Uh, so the reason that we're gonna take this tooth out right now is because, as you can see, that little bump out right there on the tooth, it's to keep the wear and tear on the tooth and instead of on the auger, it's gone on this one now. So as the auger spins, it's gonna start wearing down the head and the body of the auger. So this tooth is now bad and it needs to come out. We love these because they have such a big head, it's really hard to miss and hit your hand. Whereas you use a little one, one of those itty bitty ones you can get from like this general store, uh, you're more likely to hit your hand. So we're actually gonna knock out this backside and these teeth, they just drive in there. And you can see how much is gone there. All that's worn down and all of it's missing. So now that that's gone, it's really just wearing and tearing on the auger and wearing the head of the auger out. It's a lot easier to change a tooth than it is to change the head of the auger. If you have to do that because your auger's so worn down, you're talking about having to torch, take a torch and cut the whole entire head off and apply a new head. Which you have to do it at certain points and times, but they're expensive and they take a lot of time. So we're really trying to protect it. But when you do a, a tooth replacement, make sure and just get all your dirt debris, get the old rubber out of there so you can put the new rubber in its place. So this is the rubber we're talking about. It comes with the tooth and it slides right in there. We're gonna put that in there. So we don't want it going this way. That's wrong. We want it going this way, because of that bump out right there. We want the dirt and the friction to hit this and wear this down, not the auger. So again, like I said, we're trying to protect that head. See how easy that is? I don't know how long that took, but that's a lot easier than cutting off that whole entire head. This is what we call an inner tooth. This one would go right here, but it actually doesn't look too bad. The inner teeth don't take as much abuse as your outer teeth. Your outer teeth are gonna wear down a lot faster than your inner teeth will. Um, along with that, here's two different pilot bits that we have. This one is carbide tipped and this one's just plain. This one, uh, since it's carbide tip, it's gonna last a really long time. It's gonna way outlast this one. Uh, I bet that you're probably, I don't even know how many of these you'd go through to, before you wore one of these out, just because of the carbide. That is what is on here right now is a carbide tip. And all they do is they just receive up into the tip of the auger there with a nut and a bolt. Um, it does kind of look like we actually need to punch our nut and bolt out and replace it with a new one. When your punch doesn't fit, you can use a crappy old screwdriver. <laughs> I almost got it. Oh, did you see it? There it went. So that used to be a bolt, grade eight. A little bit of wear and tear on that. So if we did not pull that out now and we'd have done it later, we'd be digging our fishtail out of the bottom of a hole, which is not any fun. We're gonna put our fishtail back in there. This one's still really good. Even though it look, doesn't look like this one anymore, it's not brand new, it's still more than capable of doing its job. While he's doing that, when I was talking earlier about replacing the head of the auger, 
that's that's a head of an auger. This is what comes down here. When this is worn down and doesn't hold a tooth anymore on the outside, is the point in time that you have to replace it. We're talking about taking a torch, torching that weld, and then welding a new one on. And like I said, they're not cheap. So you definitely want to protect them and re replace these teeth when they have to be replaced. Here's two more teeth that we like to use. The only difference between these is these two are just plain steel. These two are steel with the carbide tips that are going to last longer. These are really great for digging in frost uh, because they'll run so long. So we like to run these in the winter during the summer and nice clean soil, a little bit of rock. We like to use these because these are going to wear out faster. These are a lot more, these are a little bit more pricey than these. Um, so if we can, we like to run these. When we do that, we don't ever change out the pilot. So we usually run the carbide tip pilot all the time. So here's one more tooth. This is a rock auger tooth. And what it does, it goes in a rock auger. I don't have the auger with me, but it's designed, it has this little collar around it so that the tooth can spin freely. The, as the auger's turning, this tooth is just sitting there chewing away on the rock, how big of a rock it may be. And that's the kind of socket that that'll go in. It's like that. And then you punch this one out from the backside when it's worn out. So I know that we are known for wearing flip-flops while building fence, that kind of crazy stuff. Um, does say on these to, hold on, let me read it to you. Avoid injury, install a soft hammer. They recommend you to install these with a soft hammer. Should you be using a steel hammer like I am, you're doing that at your own risk. And I understand that, I'm taking that at my own risk. Just trying to get that rubber up in there. Hey, look at deer. What happened? I didn't do nothing. There's how to change out your auger teeth on the drive-in style. The drive-in style is a lot better than the bolt-in style because time's worth money. I mean, if we were to get down to the point of it, this is a lot faster, a lot more efficient. I'm sitting here trying to chip away the dirt getting to the nut and I'm doing it, I'm going out, getting a new nut and a bolt. A lot faster, a lot easier. What we just showed you is your basic day-to-day -day, uh, maintenance. And if you're using the, an auger like this, you're running it daily. This is the kind of maintenance that you should expect to see and the kind of maintenance you should expect, you should want your guys to be doing. So that way they're protecting that head. They're getting as much use out of that head on that auger as you possibly can before you have to cut it off and put on a brand new one. I'm not saying that you never want to have to replace this head. I'm just saying that you want to prolong the life of it. That's all I'm trying to say. Other than that, again, I'm down with SWI and you have a good dang day.